6 a.m. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. My name is Tavon Thomas, pastor of the Brownstone District of Seventh-day Adventist Churches. It is a wonderful privilege the Lord has given unto us to be alive, to see another day. We are at lesson number seven, and this week's lesson is entitled, Unto the Least of These. Today's lesson is entitled, the life and ministry of Jesus. But before we go into the lesson, it is very important for us to talk to God before I talk to you. Let us pray. Our Father, we are so grateful for this awesome opportunity to study. I pray, dear Lord, that your Holy Spirit will lead, guide, and direct as we go into today's lesson. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. One text which would have outlined the ministry of Jesus is one that he would have read in Isaiah 61, verses 1 and 2, which states, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, and to open of prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all those who mourn. His mission was one which would have run counter with the religious leaders of his days. The poor usually were looked down upon by unscrupulous officials such as tax collectors, those in business, and even their own neighbors. It common it it's it is commonly sorry was thought that poverty was a curse of God and that their unfortunate condition must have been caused by themselves. With this mindset Few people had any concern for the poor and their unhappy plight. Yet Jesus loved the poor. He loved those who were brokenhearted. This was evident in his mission as seen how Jesus answered the question that John the Baptist Post when the question was asked, Are you the one or should we look for another? When he sent his followers to question Jesus, Ellen White would have stated this particular quote in the book, Desire of Ages, to outline the mission of Jesus Christ. She says, Like the Savior's disciple, John the Baptist did not understand the nature of Christ's kingdom. He expected Jesus to take the throne of David. And as time passed and the Savior made no claim of kingly authority, John became perplexed and troubled. And this was why he sent his disciples to question Jesus while he was in prison. What Jesus did, he did not say anything to John. A matter of fact, he allowed John disciples to watch him throughout the day and said to them, go back to John. Tell John what you have seen. The blind would have received the sight. The sick were healed. He shared with John's disciples his mission, which was to take care of the least among us. And brothers and sisters, it is very important for each and every child of God to realize our mission and our mandate. That's why right, James chapter 1 verse 27 says, Pure and undefiled religion before God and the Father is this, to visit the orphans and the widows in their trouble, and to keep oneself unspotting from the world. Brothers and sisters, if we are not doing this, 
then we are not fulfilling the mission and the mandate of Jesus Christ. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all of us. Let us pray. Our oh, Father, we are so grateful that you are our ultimate example. Lord, I place ourselves in your hands that you will help us to fulfill the mission that you have called us to, which is to take care of the least among us. We ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you very much for making it Alpha. Join us tomorrow and throughout the week as we continue to, 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 to glean the lessons embedded in lesson number seven. Have yourself a wonderful day and a wonderful week. God bless you. Daily at 6 a.m.